It's late October 2020. You're watching the Spruce Gosling YouTube channel. Or in fact, you're probably not watching it because um, hardly anyone does. Uh, we are still in the grip of a global pandemic. Unfortunately, we are being treated to the uh, not particularly edifying sight of the politicians and the economists, the scientists and the social scientists duking it out over what should be done um, while the world looks on anxiously. Uh, I don't know what the right course is, but um, there's one thing that I think I can say with great confidence is that I sincerely hope that um, this time next year uh, I'm being confronted by more aeroplane and less virus and I uh, hope that uh, something similar is the case for you and that you remain well. Uh, the uh, workshop is uh, something in, of an uh, oasis of calm these days. Uh, it's nice to be here. Uh, it certainly wasn't when we first moved into this house. So I'll try and put some stills in. Unfortunately, uh, I suspect the stills won't look a lot better than it does now in a way. Um, but believe me, it is a lot better than it was. Uh, so um, now what I'm going to do now is uh, a bit more work on the build tables. Actually, I have decided we have a load of kind of leftover and slightly rotten old varnish that I've... Uh, unearthed from somewhere that we put things uh, a year ago which means that um, by the time you you find them again they're almost completely overgrown with stuff but it's pretty good varnish uh, so I've decided I'm going to give the tables a quick skim over with a sander and then um, and then a, a, a coat of varnish or maybe two until I run out I don't think it'll do any harm I uh, have decided also to get some I bought some lining paper um, from the DIY shop which has since been misappropriated by my family and used for um, art which is uh, no doubt a noble is a noble pursuit um, I think there's probably still some left once I finish varnishing this I'm going to lay out that um, lining paper um, contrive some means of fixing it down that doesn't get in the way and um, mark up the uh, scale the fuselage plans up onto it which is going to be interesting I've got no idea how I'm going to do that there you go um, so yeah a few questions will arise as I do that uh, what how do you create a datum line can, can I just use the side of the the the, um, the big sheets of plywood is that accurate enough I suspect it probably is um, or maybe an edge of the lining paper as it comes off the roll those kind of things are fairly accurately uh, uh, cut. Um, it is a, a thing actually in aircraft construction I've discovered how you draw long lines. Um, they don't make rules of four or five meters long unless I'm missing something obvious. Uh, so um, you do have to improvise to an extent um, when you're trying to construct plans and draw things up. What I have found very useful though um, in case it's of any use to anyone and I haven't got a piece to hand actually no let's go I'm gonna walk through and go and get something um, what I have found very useful um, if I could, is um, electrical electrical conduit actually when we were drawing up the um, the ribs marking those out Where's my, which, uh, oh, there it is. Um, this is the um, sadly never used drawing of the uh, the rib to scale. Um, I hit a similar problem, which is how to, uh, how to draw a kind of continuous curve along a whole load of points at a scale of, you know, upwards of a meter. And um, myself and uh, with the help of one other person, managed it using um, a piece of electrical conduit just like this it, you know if you if you hold it in the right position uh, the material naturally falls into a into a curve 
and follows the line remarkably well. So there you go. There's probably something better, but that worked for me. So there you go. You can have that for nothing, just in case you're grappling with a similar problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to clear this. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of work sorting parts out and I've put up some new shelves. Uh, God, any, any diversionary activity other than actually start the damn thing. Um, so I've done quite a lot of work. I'm going to get this cleared. I'll try and put the camera somewhere, probably stick you on time lapse so I can listen to the radio and, um, and uh, work my way through. Uh, run over it with the sander quickly and then um, just slap varnish down uh, and uh, yeah hopefully this video won't be too long i'll edit i'll edit it down a bit i think i've been going a bit overboard recently um so probably hopefully end up something like 15 minutes i reckon but um i have been getting one or two comments back from some stuff and it does uh provide great encouragement uh to, to keep things moving um, I've also managed to make restore, uh, well restore, I've made contact with my inspector, um, we talked about glue, I think I've got a solution for glue uh, that I feel comfortable using, which is good, um, and uh, so that's also progress, so progress, progress, right, I shall stop waffling on and, um, and I shall put the camera somewhere where you can see what's going on and uh, um, maybe it might be quite satisfying to watch someone I don't know I like I like watching other people paint stuff so um, why not return the favor to the YouTube community all right back in a bit well that's nearly exactly seven minutes 57 58 59 and seven minutes Okay, let's see what we've got inside this horrible thing. Uh, I have loosened it, but I, I haven't looked underneath this yet, so... Oh, not, not too bad. Doesn't look too bad. It's kind of a wax, waxy kind of stuff. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Well, not sure. I'm not sure it's supposed to be that colour. Um, well, I'll give it a good old mix. It looks kind of shiny. I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, it's supposed to be for, what does it say? Um, for, um, for wooden floors, furniture surfaces, and worktops. Uh, no permanent wet look of the wood. Thank God for that. Encourages healthy living. <laughs> I could do a bit of that as well. Maybe I won't drink so much if I use this. Okay. Right, I, um, after that little reveal, I'm going to put you back up on the shelf. Um, if that's not too an unkind a term. And, uh, and then just going to slap this all over these tables. Just, uh, Stand by. There you go. Then finished, uh, yeah, leave that a day or so to set off. And uh, then, yeah, then it's lining paper um, and uh, set up a, uh, some kind of a scale drawing on the, on the deck and um, we'll be like a sniff away from actually um, 
actually getting going. God, I'm lost. I've got some material that came. It's up here. I've got some material that came with the um, came with the parts that I bought. Um, 15 by 15 and 16 by 10 for long runs. Um, it looks all right. Uh, I have to have a have a double check of it, I suppose. Look it over. Um, I mean, yeah, I kind of trust the person who sold this stuff to me, so I, I, I reckon it'll be fine. Um, just got to check the uh, the grain and uh, growth ring situation. Um, I need to buy that book. What is it? Oh, is it Cap 13? dot 43b or something it's the uh, bible i've been very reliably informed by uh, someone who knows what he's talking about so i'm gonna have to pick that up um, just in case i've got this this is uh oh this is going to be awkward that'll be a change of format i think i'll start um filming that a bit again hold on a second all right so we're back this is the actual aircraft that um so this is where we're headed I thought I'd put this on the wall. It kind of makes me feel like this is a bit more real. So there we go. That's uh, that's the aircraft, and I suppose what a, a human would be probably be about the size of my finger there. So uh, that's what that's what we're looking at. That kind of scale of machine, uh, single seat. Um, yeah, it's look rather lovely, really. It's over in D31. Okay. Well. Uh, the uh, yeah the glacier will have shifted a little bit more the next time I put anything online, which hopefully won't be too long. Uh, all the best, keep safe. Hope you're all well, whoever you are, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.